Okay, so let's see how much you know about triangles. Now, if you know a good amount about the properties of triangles, this should be a pretty easy problem to solve. Okay, so let's take a look at the question. So we have a triangle here, and we're trying to determine the missing length of the triangle. So this side is uh, 10, this side is 6, so what is the missing side? All right, now we do have a multiple choice question here, and let's take a look at our answers. So A is 2, B is 3, C is 4, and D is 5. All right, now feel free to use a calculator, but if you have an answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you want a nice, easy-to-understand way to learn math, well, then check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so once again, we're trying to determine the missing length. Now, the way I'm going to solve this problem may shock some of you here. We're not going to be doing a lot of math, but let's take a look at the solution. The solution is D, which is 5. Now, if you're looking at this figure and you're like, hey, Mr. to math man, I don't really know how to solve this problem, but I was thinking the correct answer was 4 or maybe 5, and you guessed this correctly, well, that is fantastic. And in my book, you're still going to get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, hey, Mr. to math man, uh, I really don't know how to do this problem. Can you teach me? Well, I certainly can. All right, now, even if you got five as your answer, you kind of need to justify, right? So this is the correct answer, but why, okay? Well, this is the only possible correct answer, and I'm going to explain this in just one second. All of these right here are not even possible answers to this situation. So you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, what's going on? Well, again, I'm going to uh, explain this in just one second, but some of you out there may be thinking, well, this particular triangle is not a right triangle, or at least it's not indicated that this is a right triangle, because if it was, we could use the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared to solve for a missing side. But that means that um, you know this right here has to be a 90 degree right angle, and we're not indicating that that is the case, and it certainly doesn't appear to be the case, so we really can't use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for this missing side. Now, some of you out there may know, uh, you know a little bit more advanced math, so things like the law of sines or law of cosines or some trigonometry. You might say, well, maybe I can apply some of that, but that's not necessary, okay, because these answers right here, 2, 3, and 4, are not possible, okay? You'll see uh, why in just one second. But another approach you could take, uh, for those of you that um, still have to take math tests, is just kind of use some common sense, right? So if this is 10, and it kind of looks like if this is 10, maybe this could be six, because this is obviously shorter than this length. So if this is six, and we take half of six, maybe this is like three. So this side right here, at a minimum, you know, would probably be three, okay? So this is probably the only logical guess based upon the figure. But again, these uh, numbers right here, these lengths are not possible. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into why that is the case. And I'm gonna show you an actual real triangle. All right, so this is a right triangle, okay? But nevertheless, it is a triangle. So it's a three, four, five, um, uh, we call this a Pythagorean triple, but this is an actual triangle. Now we have a particular property uh, that relates the sides of this triangle. Now I wanna see if you can kind of figure out what the property is. So here uh, we have the lengths of the side and we're kind of doing various combinations of, of it, but what do you think the property um, that I'm trying to get at, you know, and it's being described right here, what do you think it is, right? So hopefully you can kind of look at these three um, uh, inequalities, okay, and tell me what the property is. So let's go ahead and go through this right now. So here we have 5 plus 4, okay, so 5 plus 4 is greater than 3, right? So if we add up these two sides, it's greater than this side. All right, so that, uh, you know, obviously appears to be pretty straightforward because 5 plus 4 is 9, 9 is greater than 3, but how about 5 plus 3? Well, we're adding these two sides, so 5 and 3 is 8, and that's greater 
than this uh, remaining side. All right, so how about this way? If we add four and three, that's seven, and that is greater than uh, this last remaining side. So the property here is something called the triangle inequality. Okay, so any actual real triangle, if you add up any two sides, it's always gonna be greater than that last remaining side. All right, so this is key. And now let's go ahead and get back to this particular problem. All right, so let's see if you can kind of apply that concept to figure out what the right answer is. Now, of course, you already know the correct answer is five, but let's see if you can use the triangle inequality to kind of test uh, some of these numbers here. All right, so let me go ahead and show you one example. So let's test three, all right? Or, uh, we might be saying, well, maybe three is a possible answer. So let's test it using the triangle inequality. So 10 plus three, let's add this way. So it's 10 plus three. Is that greater than six? Well, indeed it is. So that works. That's good. So 10 plus three is 13. That is a true statement. How about 10 plus six? All right, so let's kind of add this way. So is 10 plus six greater than three? Well, it is, right? So 10 plus six is greater than three. That is true. But we have a problem here when we go this way. So if this is three, six plus three, is that greater than 10? Well, six plus three is not greater than 10, right? So nine is not greater than 10. So this fails the triangle inequality. So you might be saying, all right, Mr. Math man, I get it. How about four? Okay, well, six plus four, if this side's four, that's 10. So is 10 greater than 10? No, 10 is not greater than 10. 10 is greater than or um, uh, 10 is less than or greater than 10, okay? But we're talking about this last side has to be greater, not equal to, so four would not work as well. The only one that would work is five. So we have six plus five, which of course is 11. So 11 is greater than 10. All right, so again, the way we kind of solve this problem is by default. Okay, in other words, the only possible answer here that makes sense uh, is D, which is five, right? All these right here, these lengths cannot be triangles. So kind of think of the triangle inequality in this manner. If I said, build a triangle, if I kind of give you three lengths, maybe like this, could we build a triangle out of these three lengths, right? Well, it would be kind of difficult because this side is really long, right? So let's take this long side and then we'll take this side right here. Maybe we'll kind of do that. But now we have to try to close this triangle with this small side. So maybe we have to kind of do something like this. But this is not a triangle. That's like an arrow, right? So a triangle, it must be closed. So for example, if this is 20 and this is 1 and this is 3, you can see here we're going to uh, run into a problem with the triangle inequality, right? Two sides um, have to be greater than, than the third side. So 3 plus 1 here is what? That's 4. 4 is not greater than 20. All right, so the triangle inequality is a very important property about triangles. And it's one of these things that a lot of people, you know, uh, it's kind of obviously taught in geometry courses, but a lot of people forget about it, or maybe even, uh, you haven't even learned about it. Okay, so not too difficult, and hopefully this video was interesting and you learned something. And if that's the case, don't forget to subscribe. That really does help me out on YouTube. Now, if you want to check out my full main math courses, all you have to do is go into the uh, description of this video. I have links to various courses. And if you want to know more about geometry, well, then check out my full geometry course or maybe my math skills rebuilder course. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.